welcome to my youtube channel fourth frame between mr jack jones and mr zhang before i start a video don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon so you get all of my video notification without further delay let's start a video Finally, Mr. Zhang succeeded to decrease a lead. Very important match for Mr. Zhang. Red ball scattered all the way. Challenging situation to save a red ball to part. Well, Dominic Dale was commentating on this match. He called it an orchard of reds. Red ball scattered everywhere on the table. Dominic won't be on a microphone when he first arrives at the crucible. He'll be picking up a cue, making a return for the first time in 10 years. The oldest man it's the crucible since Steve Davis had his great run to the quarters in 2010 one of the one of the stories from the qualifiers Sean Dominic Dale making it back here yeah he's some character isn't he I was chatting to him in the practice room in the tournament in Yushan a few weeks ago and he was saying how much you know he still enjoys his snooker and loves playing and competing and great to see him back at the crucible meanwhile Jack Jones in a bit of trouble here this these reds could go anywhere didn't get the spin on the cue ball to get it back to the cushion. I've got a feeling that that brown on its last turn has covered the path to the red over the green pocket. Does anything go to the right middle pocket? He's sighting something here. Can he get through to the red over the green pocket through the gap of the blue and the brown? He can. Wow. Well, how did the cue ball finish? Couldn't really control it. Just clipping that red in through the gap. Just 
clipped the brown on the way back through. That spoiled things for the pink. Has he knocked the brown on? If not, he'll only get one. I think he can get past the blue. And that brown just goes past Fair that enough. red. Yeah, that's a great camera angle, isn't it, from in the crowd? That tells us everything. Just needs to drop this in and he'll have that red wait in for him. And he should be away here. Those orchard of reds should all be his. Plenty to work with here for Shang Ander. And Jack Jones, having started the match so positively and so well, hasn't potted a ball for 32 minutes. Six. Such are the ebbs and flows of momentum in these mini sessions. That's why we can't help but watch. The intrigue of these long matches, isn't it? We're so used now on the tour to sevens and nines that when you get a best of 19 from round one, that intrigue and the twists and turns of the match become a thing. Usually if a player rushes into a two frames to nil lead, as Jack Jones did, you start talking about them being in the ascendancy and all oh, this match is nearly over and the other players under pressure. Well, not in a best of 19. Sangander can win this frame 50. and be two each at the interval. It'll all count for nothing. Eighty. What I will say at this early point, although we're only in frame four, these players are already in the territory of not being able to complete their allocation of frames this morning and getting pulled off early if they don't pick up the pace of play in the next batch of five after their interval. Average 26. frame time, 26 and a half minutes. We've gone 27, 20, and then nearly 32. It didn't look like it was going to be quick on paper. And so far, that's how it's playing out. It's going to be a grueling route to the last 16, you suspect, for whoever comes through this one. 26 points break from Mr. Zhang. 27. Blue ball positioned in the middle pocket. of this one will play the winner of Mark Williams against C. Jaoui. What an intriguing match that is. That they've never met professionally. Mark Williams coming here off the back of seven frames in a row to beat Ronnie O'Sullivan to the Tour Championship title. And C. Jaoui returning to the scene of his incredible run to the semis last year. just lost the cue ball ever so slightly. It looked an innocent shot on the blue two shots ago. He overran that. That meant he had to play that red and screw down for the black. And he's not quite on this black correctly. He should pot it, of course. Natural angle for the cue ball will be up for the red by the green. So he only has to pot this. Doesn't have to do anything too complicated. But he missed something similar to this on the other side of the table. And he's missed that one. Easy yeah, miss from Mr. Zeng. Two shots ago. Record. He doesn't give a great deal away as he walks back to his chair, but there's enough there to know that he's very, very disappointed, as well as he should be, having missed that shot. Well, he missed the black on 31 in the previous frame. And still managed to get over the line, and he's missed the black on 33 in this one. He 
He's definitely not feeling his best in this morning's session. And the other thing we should say as well is that he's missed the black, but he's got away with it again. He's not left the red by the green, which is what he played for. So badly did he strike the cue ball. He's two feet short of where he intended. Jack Jones can cut this red by the brown into the yellow pocket. That's what he's citing now. He's got the extension on the cue. <laughs> Gets close to this pot. The cue ball should come back down this end for the black. Close. Yeah, nice shot. Well, needs a bounce on this cue ball and he'll be on the black. If he doesn't like the black, he's got the pink. Nice shot played that with right hand side to come by the blue. And the black's very thin from there. The pink might be a better shot, but it's probably a slightly more difficult pot that yields better position. And that red between pink and the middle pocket is always off putting in your line of vision. It's easy to miss this pink to his left. Ah, struck that well. Good shot. Two really excellent pots in a row, considering he'd been frozen out for over half an hour. Another example of that temperament holding up under a little bit of pressure. too much spin to the cue okay. ball there and it fizzed up the table play for this red by the green <coughs> those two reds by the pink to the right obviously pass into this left hand corner pocket so they don't need worrying about but this is much thinner than it should have been <laughs> nicely played <laughs> played down for the pink can stun past those reds for a choice of reds to the opposite corner pocket. No, Mr. H, be quiet. 21. Well, there's a fair bit to do yet in this frame, but on the balance of play it was the hour and a half so far, he'd be good value for a three one. This is in and part. Any mistake, good. Help Mr. Zeng to win a frame and tie a score. Quite pacey queuing from Mr. Jack Jones. But straight to a red ball. I would assume it's going to come down to that one in the middle of the ball cushion. That will be the where the problems start. You can clearly see there that the top red of those two stuck together pots to the right middle. So if you can access those in a moment or two. There he is there. That's where he needs to As he looks to mop these things up this end of the table. Needs that cue ball to slow down a fraction. That might be a bit high from there. I'm not sure he can pot either red from that position. He turns away, a bit annoyed with himself. I don't think he can pot either red from that position. It's very, very tight. He 
risks hitting the other red first here. Well, he could still oh, it. standing part. But red ball, I think, blocked the angle of a black ball. Pink, but he can't get on the red. <laughs> because that red that's stuck on the ball cushion is in such an awkward place, he, he, he might consider going for this pink in the belief that even if he gives a chance to Zhang Ander, it's not going to be one that could lose him the frame at this visit. That's why he's gone for the pink, and what a great pot that is. Outstanding and comfortable pot from Mr. Jack Jones. To the middle a few shots ago, but that was much better from his height on the cushion. Back across the table for this red. Struck that brilliantly. He's playing with real conviction. Making those tight middle pockets look huge. and because of that the cue balls traveled six or seven inches further than he intended he, he meant to be low on the blue so we could get up the table for the red by the yellow he's now completely out of position he's just looking to see if he can drop the brown in retain position on the red by the yellow and clip the red off the cushion in one shot Situation well, in the favor of Mr. Yellow have collided, and that red on the cushion has Zang. been dislodged as we see here. Got nowhere near that one. Brown has replaced the red in its awkward position. White chart from Mr. Zhang to now having taken the place of that red becomes the problem ball 10 points behind green to win make a second seven. frame so that brown is going to be vitally important to zang under frame of the game as he seeks to win this frame and as we said before that cue ball's close to the corner surely not oh, what luck. a mistake to make and bad it could be a free ball Mr. Zang. Right position the table the red ball but to put the cue ball in what a mistake to go in off a cue ball Foul from Mr. Zeng. And it is a free ball. Well, that free ball changes everything because now the Brown's not in play for Jack. He can win this frame without it. A free ball from Mr. Jones. easier to get to this red behind the black from the pink you can still do it off the blue but it's not as easy as it would have been this blue will put him 20 points ahead so the red and the black and it'd be good value for his 3-1 lead from what we've seen so far hasn't been fireworks from either player it's been hard for match play snooker but 35 just this points the remaining and 25 po and 20 points the ahead the two frame lead. still in the game Seven. important color for Mr. Jack Jones Part and position. Across these opening four frames, but it is valuable lead for Mr. Jack Jones. 
There is the door here. 60. This has been a good mini session from Jack Jones. Every single one of his three frames hard earned. 90. Yes, the Troublesome Brown dispatched as well. He's had some pots of real composure and quality. Quite Doesn't matter about no the problem. Win Jones, three. Well played. After a 